The biggest jerk I met when I was an NBA ball boy was a guy who was always condescending. That guy, Richard Jefferson. So normally I don't address things. You know, I'll address like the little Twitter trolls here and there, but you keep reposting this. And so you want attention, but I don't think you really want this attention. So let's tell everybody the truth. What he is saying is true. I never interacted with him, but let's explain why. Is this you? And the biggest tip I saw to was this. Richard Jefferson's dick tip, which touched his kneecap. You literally admit to looking at our junks when we were in the locker room. I remember you. And I saw this video a while ago, and I never talked about it. I just kind of let it go. And then I saw the original video where I was like, oh, that's the kid that used to stare at all of our junks. And you felt so comfortable staring at our junks that it's literally your second video you have posted on TikTok. Your second video is you talking about it. And this is another thing that I want people to really observe here. You're not just saying like, ooh, I saw Richard's junk. No, you're talking about in comparison to other men in the locker room. The biggest you saw, while it might be true, the point is... That is why I didn't interact with you. That is why I avoided you. So don't come on here because you are an NBA, you were an NBA ball boy. And then everybody saw that those pictures of you. So you have some validity. So then when you start talking trash about me or somebody else, there's, there's validity to it. But that's why I didn't talk to you because you were looking at our junks the whole time and you felt so comfortable, you decided I don't mind. I'll do TikToks and talk about comparing grown men's junks in the locker room. So I just thought you wanted the attention. I'll give you the attention. That is why I never interact with you. Yes, my tattoo is really shitty. I know. I got it at 17. All right. So, hey, I'm new to TikTok and my last video just got flagged. So that's my first time. But let's address this really quickly. He is telling the truth. I did avoid him. I did not want to speak to him. And this is why. So basically, he used to stare and look at other individuals. We knew that. We would talk about it. I saw him post multiple videos, and I didn't really want to kind of address it. But then when he reposted the video, I felt like he was looking for attention. So he is telling the truth. I did avoid him. I, I did not talk to him, but that is the reason why. So, hey, you wanted attention? There's your attention.